Do you remember this podium during the closing argument by Camille Vazquez? Well, apparently, it was a strategic decision by Johnny Depp's team. Listen to Ben Chu as he reveals his strategy. We had the dilemma. Do we want to be before the jury just with a big stack of notes, which is kind of awkward, or do we want to, you know, seek protection behind um, the big podium, which would look like we were we were afraid and and not believing in ourselves. So I found a tiny little podium that had belonged to my mother. It was an encyclopedia holder. So I found that, I brought it in, and I put the little alpaca in the little drawer for good luck. So Camille and I both used the podium to our great advantage. Camille, what's the funniest thing that ever happened in a courtroom? In the courtroom? <laughs> I mean, everything from Johnny using his sense of humor and showing everyone his legal knowledge. You know, he was he would object to to, to questions before we would or, you know, he would say, oh, gosh, is, uh, what I'm about to say is that that must be hearsay. You have a drinking problem, Johnny. Objection calls for hearsay. Question, Mr. Depp. Yes. Um, Let's let him object to another one for him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. I'm not just sure it's offered for the truth of the matter, sir. He, he got it. Okay, all right. Well, then. I'm learning. You, you, you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? <laughs> yeah. Listen to Camille Vazquez as she explains the most interesting witness during the trial. There were some uh, interesting witnesses. <laughs> Not to name any names, but there were there was one in particular on um, the other side, an expert that was bizarre uh, <laughs> and and comical. But uh, right, but Willy Wonka it doesn't matter to you. Do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? Is, is that a, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? <laughs> You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. Listen to Ben Chu as he explains another funny story about the infamous podium. I found a tiny little podium, brought it in, and I put the little alpaca in the little drawer for good luck. And then, unfortunately, one of Amber, Ms. Hurd's uh, lead counsel, Ben Rottenborg, he took advantage of it. I, before I could take the podium away and force him to make that Hobson's choice, he sees the podium. And to my horror, he used it to great effect. And to throw him off during a break, I said, you know, there's an alpaca in there. And he, uh, he, gave, he gave me stink eyes. So we, we had a little humor there. Do you guys remember these two gaffes by Amber Heard's lawyers? And do you, rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me. He sustained an injury on one of his well, fingers. Well, uh, objection. Here's hearsay. You, you asked the question. Okay, okay. Listen to Ben Chu as he explains why this happened. They really had two lawyers doing almost everything. They had uh, they had a team of competent lawyers. They had lawyers who could have done more, but for whatever reason, and maybe it was a client imperative, we don't know. It was pretty much just the two of them, and they both were very good, but uh, they were getting worn around the edges, and it showed. Watch Ben Chu as he explains why Johnny Depp was a highly effective witness. Johnny had some great lines um, in his direct that we hadn't anticipated uh, that were just quite, you know, when, when the other side would say, well, did I read that correctly? He would really undercut it by saying, you read that quite well, Mr. Rothbard. So he just, he was able to disarm opposing counsel without being snarky or without being disrespectful, which, as you know, is not what you want your witnesses to be. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes, sir. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And did I read that right? You read that very, very well. The next one, Hollywood Reporter. Listen to Ben Chu as he explains his closing argument strategy for the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case. My job in closing was to try to explain to the jury what Johnny had lost. And he's a lot younger looking than I am and a lot better looking, but we're about the same age. And I, you know, I can't pretend that I understand his life, but 
I, I've had some experiences common to him, and I can imagine, at least in part, what it would be like at his age to lose a career and to have his children have to, they never believed it. It's not like they believed their dad was a bad guy or done any of these things, but to have their children have to go through life with this stigma. So it was my job to try to convey that in closing to the jury.